Hey everybody, so it's time for a new video and uh, today what we're going to talk about is the Chris Vector versus the PS90. So I've had some concerns from my fellow employees and friends that these two guns aren't good ones to compare because one's kind of like a rifle cartridge, the other is kind of like a pistol cartridge and like Dylan for example, he looked at me and he's like, man I just don't know, they're just, they're so different, like how are you going to compare two guns like that? And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, man, these are the perfect guns to compare, though, because, like, there's nothing else like them. They're so unique. I mean, sure, I could compare the Chris to a Ruger PC Charger, and I could compare the PS90 to the Ruger 5.7 or something, but they're just so odd and different in their own ways, and there's just nothing like them. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to compare two guns that are unique like that. It's a, it's a good thing to do. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the two differences. It's going to be very similar to our last video with the AR-15 and the Styrog. Um, only I've been told that I need to be more serious because the last one was a little bit too much joking. But good thing for you is I didn't take that conversation seriously. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> so anyway. <sighs> We've already established that I don't ever have a preference. Uh, no, I mean... Oh, got a little dirt on you. Okay, baby, we'll fix it right up. Get you taken care of. I always think of everything the same, try to keep an open mind. Um, the Chris Vector is only my favorite gun that I've ever shot, so that's not a big deal. I mean, that won't bring a bias to me at all. Never, no. So, anyway, yeah, there's that. So the first thing we're going to look at is we are going to do our damage test. So let's get into that, starting with the Chris Vector, moving to the PS90. Shooter, are you ready? Shooter is ready. Range is clear, weapon's hot. <clears throat> Oh yeah, baby! Oh. Sufficiently dead. Sufficiently dead. Are you safe? It's a dream to shoot, it really is. Is this vector good? I don't know, man. You're about to find out. We're about to find out. Yeah. The damage wasn't significant. The damage was pretty okay.
So now that we have a good baseline for what kind of like the damage looks like, I would say from the distance we're shooting at, the nine millimeter is gonna be a superior round just because it delivers its energy to target better. And the 5.7 was never really designed to be like, you know, a huge amount of mass of bullet impacting the target and creating mass damage. It was designed for penetration, so it does that well. So you don't really see as much on the damage. Yet, if we started to put some stuff in front of that thing, we might want to do like a PS90 video later, where we kind of demonstrate the penetration of the round. Because I feel like we kind of lose that with some of the tests we do on this, but it's still good to kind of see the difference between soft target penetration. So now let's go ahead and check out what some of our accuracy looks like. Subpar. Subpar. Range clear. Range clear. Graze that one. Oh, right through the center. Right through the center again, multiple times. I spoke too soon. Well, uh, say there's no comparison there. Nope. None. The vector wins. Chris, what are you doing? Nothing. No, no, no. You're eating our targets. Nope. They're delicious. So after the accuracy test, I really just shoot my vector well. Like I know the gun. It is so good. So the accuracy of the Chris vector is just like it's it's amazing. I can I, I can always put rounds where I want them to put them. I can do it quickly. I can do it concisely. It's an amazing weapon. Now, PS90, I wasn't as familiar with it, because you know, I like it, like the vector, it's my favorite. So like, I wasn't as familiar with it. Chris and I have never shot it before. So I feel like it, it, it held its own, but I've just, I've always been very, very impressed with the rounds down range on target with the Chris Vector. I feel like in the accuracy test, it definitely pulled ahead. But if we started to stretch out the distance a little bit more, I feel like the PS90 would start to shine a little bit. So I think from our accuracy test, I think the Chris Vector pulled ahead. So now let's check out some of the ballistics of these two bullets. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to see that the PS90 is going to start to pull ahead now. Because that's kind of like its forte, for say. Like, it 
was designed to have that penetration and I think we're gonna see that. So let's check it out. You good? Ah! Yeah, you, you're destroying it. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it fell on my shoe. Yeah, I don't like how the thing empties. It man. ejects down. It empty right down your shirt and you're not careful. Nice. That's it. What do you think? There's like no recoil in that thing. I think so. I think so. So after our ballistic tests, I think I think the PS90 kind of started to show its colors now, because like this is what it was designed for. It was designed to penetrate. It was designed to push right through whatever it gets put in the front of, and I think it demonstrated that very well. So good way to see the difference between two excellent firearms, two very unique firearms. Nothing else like them. They'll probably get their own videos standalone at some point, where we just talk more about some of the science behind. The different calibers, the different rounds that they fire, and what they were originally designed for and what they excel at. So be looking for those in the future. Um, that'll be fun. So in conclusion, between damage and accuracy, I feel like the Chris Vector probably was the winner on soft targets and at this range. Um, the PS90 could easily be, you know, a great weapon and a longer range, and it still is, it just it has different purposes. But to compare the two, well, I love my Chris Vector. Like, I would pick the Chris Vector between the two for almost any application, unless I just really need the penetration. Then I feel like the PS90 is really the winner. Plus, it holds 50 rounds easily in the top mag. So, you know, there's just a lot of differences here. They're very cool, though. So, stay tuned for more videos. Um, the next one we're going to do is going to be a fun one. It's more just for giggles. So, we're doing a Call of Duty parody to some extent. Well, we're just going to talk about some of us and what we do when we play Call of Duty and some of the stereotypes that we've grown for our buddies to know, like, hey, he does this and he's an idiot and it's hilarious. So uh, be watching for that. It'll be a good one. And we will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to share this video, comment on what you think we did well, what you'd like to see, anything like that. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. So we'll see you guys at the shop. Thanks.